If I'm looking at the binoculars, then who's looking at me? Another macho case. Let's head in here and let's go check on Pat and Franklin and see what Franklin has for you guys today. I know he has a super cool mod and he also probably has a question of the day. So here we go. What is the coolest thing you've ever seen with binoculars? So yeah, uh, I think that the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like I, I'm not like a big binoculars kind of guy. Like I don't carry around binoculars to like like uh, sports events and stuff like that. But yeah, I think the coolest thing I've ever seen was at my grandparents' house. I looked out the window with binoculars and I'm pretty sure I saw some deer. So yeah, that would definitely be the coolest thing that I've ever seen. But yeah, whatever coolest thing that you saw with binoculars definitely feel free to go put it in the comment section down below and also make sure to go pound that like button if you enjoy today's video so franklin's just really excited and he has nothing to say but anyway yeah it looks like today we have the binoculars mod so yeah this is kind of like the optifine mod if you think about it because it lets you zoom in so yeah if you right click i actually need to reset this because i was just messing around so yeah this is just the default of everything it lets you zoom in a little bit it has a cool nice smooth animation for when you zoom in uh it's kind of like the optifine mod in that uh, with the optimal mod you can actually zoom in like this but uh, it isn't really as cool and it doesn't really have as many features so yeah pat and franklin we will see you guys later thank you for these cool binoculars and uh yeah so let's just head down here and i can show you guys how these binoculars work so pretty much to craft the binoculars you need a redstone you need a redstone on the top and then you also need a block of redstone in the middle so yeah all you really just need is redstone it's not really that complicated to build and uh, if you do have them all you need to do is put them in your inventory and there's a few ways that you can use them so the mainstream way is just to right click and then it zooms you in like this now all the different stuff that you're seeing on the screen it shows you the direction that you're looking in it also shows you the time of day so it is currently 503 p.m so yeah it will be getting dark soon and uh, it also shows you the coordinates that you're at in the bottom left hand of the screen um it also shows you how far away the object that you're looking at i don't know if you can see like the double arrow right below me and it also shows you what block you're looking at and where that actual block is so yeah there's a whole bunch of different functionalities of this and then if you see that's very top left corner it will actually show you the different controls so we can hit f to zoom in a little bit now the sad thing is that you can't hold it down so you have to keep hitting it individually but the cool thing is that look how close you can get to it you can get up to uh 98.5 zoom so that's uh the greatest zoom that you can get but yeah you can see pretty dang far away and uh the cool thing is that it isn't actually all pixelated and blurry and stuff like that like uh it actually looks pretty dang crisp and then to zoom back out all we have to hit is v so yeah, we can zoom out actually kind of far uh i'm just gonna spam it a little bit show you guys that we can actually get to our current view so without binoculars i would actually be able to see everything and we can actually get it to go like behind us which is kind of weird i don't know if that's some sort of bug with the mod so yeah right now i am at the regular view so i'm a little bit behind it but yeah i can just keep going more and more and more and see if i let it go I actually like zoom back in but when i use these i can actually get some weird fov changes i think i can go down all the way to negative 50 which is kind of crazy look at this i'm like way zoomed out and it looks almost like an oculus rift if you think about it i don't know if you've ever heard of that or seen it but it's pretty much like virtual reality and whenever i move i move like super slow <laughs> but yeah if you just want to reset it after you're done messing with it just hit r and it will reset back to normal so yeah there also is another way to activate the binoculars and that is by hitting l which will actually lock it so yeah if you don't feel like holding down right click you can hit l button or you can you know configure the uh, options and the, the different keys and the controls so yeah, you can hit l and it will actually lock it and then you can still do everything else but i think that the coolest thing about this mod is that it does have night vision and waypoints so yeah i've been having issues with the night vision see look you can see that i have night vision effects i just hit n and the sky lights up but nothing else really happens i don't know if that's a an issue with my game mode let's actually see so to get out of the lock mode you just hit l again actually wait 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 Shaders. Shaders causes night vision issues. I think I just figured it out. So yeah, see how everything just got lighter? If we can zoom in over there, if that, that'll zoom in nice. Okay, let's just, let's just get over there. Let's render out the area. There we go. Okay, now if I hit N, uh, yeah, yeah, that works. Cool. See, look, now it looks like everything's daytime. And actually, this is really neat if you want to use it in a cave. So yeah, as you can see, there's a nice cave over there. And if I hit N, Boom, it's all lit up and I can see everything in there. So yeah, that's a really neat functionality. And then the last thing that I want to show you is the actual waypoint system. 
So to activate waypoints, all you have to do is hit L to lock your binoculars and then hit P to activate a waypoint. Now you can name this waypoint. Let's just name it waypoint. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, waypoint. And then the default is where you're actually standing. So that is where the waypoint starts. But if you want to actually make the waypoint where you're looking, if you want to do like cool teleportation stuff, you can hit this double arrow right here and not the single arrow. The single arrow is where you're standing, but the double left arrow is actually where you're looking. And then you can hit add and then you click on the waypoint and then hit go. And then, oh, 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 sometimes you're going to get, you know, bad teleportation because I mean, it still is a work in progress mod, but yeah, it'll just teleport you wherever the heck you were looking at. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything with the mod. There really is nothing else to show. It pretty much just lets you zoom in, but it has a bunch of cool functionalities where it shows you like what you're looking at and stuff like that. It'll even show mobs if you're looking at mobs, which is kind of neat. See if I look at the chicken, it should show me the chicken if I get close enough. Hold on, let, let's just go. Yep, yep, yep. See, chicken, chicken. See, that also shows you how much health it has, which is kind of neat. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything with the binoculars mod. Let's just turn back on my cool shaders because I honestly love shaders. I'm just going to lag a little bit here. So you guys really hope you did enjoy. Uh, if you did, make sure to go pound the like button and also make sure to leave an awesome comment comment about the things that you've seen with binoculars but yeah guys that'll be it for today let's just set it to daytime my name is beck bro jack and i will see you guys all next time bye